Hello everyone, my name is Cardi's Vampy Nico, and welcome back to Don't Take It Personally, Babe. It just ain't your story. So, in the last episode, we helped Ta not Taylor, um, Kendall and Charlotte get back together. So, now we've got two happy couples. Things are gonna get cute. Okay. Of course, the whole sub the sub. There you try that. Of course, the whole subplot seems funny at the time. Sure, it's all at his expense and really pretty cruel, but we laugh anyway. But tell me, what do you think of the ending? Is it funny at all? Do you think it's the main characters who get the last laugh? Or is there something more uncomfortable about it? Anyone can answer. What do you think? Just whatever your first impression was. Come on. Anyone? Who do you think gets the last laugh? Chapter 5 Taylor Maybe now we'll figure out what her deal is. By the end of the day, I'm positively worn out. It's just been one of those days. I know how that is. Everyone was silent every single time I had a question for the class. Not even Charlotte had my back. Um, no, girl, you're supposed to have my back, girl. What? What's up? And halfway through the lecture, all my notes said were, Improvise about Toby and Maria's relationship for ten minutes. Why would I do that to myself? It was not my finest hour. I feel ridiculous and humiliated and exhausted as I leave at the end of the day. Okay, let's check these. Start at the bottom. Those were the first ones. Okay. Kira Yamazaki. I can't say that word. Too cute. You got a little heart. Wait, but he's actually a girl? Man, what if? It's not hetero if he's a reverse trap. Wait, he's a reverse trap. I'm confused. A reverse trap if he's a guy dressed as a girl. Or if the guy looks like a girl, he's a trap. If he's a reverse trap, that means he's a guy dressed like a girl that I don't know I'm confused and my stuff confuses me sometimes question mark I'll explain later winky face oh he's not really your type is he not enough mm, I would have thought stay classy Taylor easy bro she's right there's no such thing Ah, stop it! You're embarrassing him, Akira. L O L. Okay, you and you, Akira and Kendall, are probably my two favorites. They're uh, they're awesome. No one's getting up there now that he's actually talking and interacting with people. Cross dressing. L O L. Viola could be a gentleman, sure. But could she be a prince? Didn't think so. You could be my prince. Ojisama! No. Only hers. Sorry, bro. LOL. I'm heartbroken. Oh, This is so cute. I shipped that bromance. Bro TP. Instead of actually reading the play, we just walked, we just watched a Shakespeare movie. Best class ever. Cause he, just cause I'm lazy. Wait, you actually liked that movie? Thought it was just weird. It was funny. I don't even remember what we're studying. I'm a bad teacher. That's why I put the movie on. I don't even remember what it was about. Hey. Oh, she's talking to Nolan. Oh no. Hey, I'd like to make up with you. I've been a real jerk lately, and I want to apologize. Can we talk about what happened, please? I know it's my fault. I'm willing to admit to that. I'd just like to still be your friend, if that's possible. Can we talk about it? No! Because you're mean. There's another one. I'll check in a minute. I'm thankful for how quiet the evening is as I walk home. It's beautiful out, at least, so I decided to take the long way home as a consultation to myself. A small consultation, although... 
All I can think about is how crappy the entire school day was. Wait, how am I still getting this if I'm walking home? iPad. Or phone. Whichever. I can't actually... Act oh, wait, hang on. I'm reading this wrong. I can't say I really understand what the literature lecture was all about. I don't either, honey. It's okay. Uh, okay, sure. I'd like that. What do you want to talk about? What I did, mostly. I'd really rather talk about you... I re I'd really rather talk to you about it in person. It's one of those things that needs to be said. Eh, don't do it, bro. It's a trap. Can we meet up at lunch on Mondays? Or are you too busy with Akira? You're too busy with Akira. The teacher says no. It's a trap, bro. I can't help but wonder if I'm just not cut out for this job. I can never get my students to engage with the work. On I don't know if I'm actually teaching anything. Well, you're helping them with their life problems. You know, that's something. That's, the, that's part of the reason why teachers are there. Nah, he'll understand. Monday is good. Bro, what I just say? It's a trap. And most ridiculous of all, most ridiculous of all, I can't say words. I spend more time dealing with student drama than the curriculum. Like I said, that might be a good thing. I think maybe it's about time to conclude that my life is going to suck no matter what I do with it. If not even the great Charlotte can understand it, what hope do the rest of us have? Eh. I don't really mean that. I'm not about to get depressed about it. I'm way too old for that. I just sure wish I could reach my students is all. It's killing me. LOL, yeah. Wait, hang on, no. Uh, great, it's a date then. So you told it, it's a trap. If you went back together with you both, she wants it in your pants. Don't trust her. That's all that's on my mind as I walk home. I'm so distracted, it's not for a while that I notice the sound of footsteps. Oh crap, I'm being followed. Stranger danger! Stranger danger! It's otherwise a perfectly quiet evening, save for the footsteps following behind me. It's almost a little eerie. <laughs> After a few minutes, I finally yield to my curiosity. I turn my head over my shoulder to see who's there. Don't be Ariana. Don't be Ariana. Oh, who are you? Strange. Utterly strange. Both the outfit and because these side streets are always empty and she must have been following for a good five minutes now. I just keep walking. Why? Why what? Why didn't you stop her? Why? Why, why, why? Oh, are you related to Isabella? I'm sorry. Is she talking to me? I keep walking. Her spirit isn't at rest. Why did you let her die? That strikes a nerve. Confused and baffled, I turn to face her. What? Are you talking to me? She says nothing but nods. Thank you, kimono. And your hair bow. Leave me alone, please. I don't know what on earth you're talking about. I have a feeling that I know what she's talking about. I turn back and keep walking. But then she responds, and I can't help but shiver. Isabella. And I knew it! Leave me alone! I tried! I really tried! I couldn't get any freaking information about her! I tried. I didn't know. Actually, I did. But, ugh, I'm only human! Shocked to hear her name, I turn around, intent on confronting the strange, creepy woman. But she's nowhere to be seen. Oh! Just completely and utterly vanished. Uh, great, she's gonna kill me in my sleep. What? I don't know what the heck to think as I hurriedly, hurriedly walk back home. But no, but none of it is good. I find myself unsettled by the whole thing to absolutely no end. I end up dwelling on it all weekend. I am too. 11.50 a.m. Monday. Monday's 
It's really important that if you haven't started to think about what you're going to do for the Big Creative Project, you think about it now. Can I make a volcano with little people and the trees and dinosaurs? Because dinosaurs are cool. No? Okay. The do in two weeks. So if you don't at least know what you're going what you're doing, you need to figure it out immediately. You can talk to me after class if need be. There's no homework for tonight other than studying for the test tomorrow. Oh, I hate tests. Let's see what's going on with the people. Okay, this is a conversation between Nolan and Akira. They're so cute together. Okay. Hey bro, two things. One, what did you say we were what time did you say we were going to meet tomorrow? Just want to be sure. Don't want to stand around awkwardly for like an hour again. Aww. Okay. Do you mind? Two. Do you mind if I spend lunch on Monday with Taylor? Sounds like she wants to apologize for being such a witch. Would be nice. Ow! I hit my elbow. Ow! <laughs> that really hurt. Oh. Ow. No, not a problem at all. It's totes okay. Really hope that turns out well for you given what you've told me about her. And, hello, uh, yeah, let's not repeat the last date. Winky face. We said 2 p.m. Okay, thanks. Aww, this is so cute. Oh, that's it? Okay. I'm finished early again. Before I thought it was, before I thought it was because I was planning better. Now I just wonder if my classes aren't just getting shorter and shorter. That's bad. Alright, well, that's it. I guess we're running a bit early, so I want to let you go now, but please take your time going to the cafeteria, alright? No need to rush. That's all. They all slowly start to leave. Then I realize, no, only two have actually left. Everyone else is still milling around, milling about kind of aimlessly. I'm reading, I'm reading all kinds of things wrong. Dude, I love your shirt! It's pink! Ariana looks depressed. But I think she kind of is. Keep a close eye on you. Two reasons. Okay? I love your necklace too. You look cool, bro. You're all welcome to stick around in the classroom and eat if you want. Thanks. Sup, Akira? Why aren't you with your boyfriend? I'm about to speak, but then I realize there's nothing I could say with honesty. I know exactly why he's not with Nolan, but I can hardly say that. I say that, can I? Yeah, we don't want them all to know that we've been snooping through their private messages. He looks upset. He doesn't like it. Yeah, I thought you. Were, yeah, I thought you were spending your lunches with Nolan. Um, well, he's apparently working things out with Taylor, privately. No big deal. It's good they're making up. Oh, crap. Kendall. Kendall, calm down. Calm down. We don't know anything yet. Don't worry, I got my eye out. I'm watching them. I'm sure it's fine. Better that she stops raging so, so hard over getting dumped, bro. Yeah, because Taylor is totes the type for forgiving. And let me tell you, bro, I would not trust my girlfriend anywhere near her. If I didn't want some sort of drama, cluster. Oh, that's a bad word. Kendall! Yes, cool. I'm sorry, you guys. She's not very cute when she's being inexplicably hostile towards friends. Taylor's a friend? LOL. Friends! Come on, knock it off, really. It really, it really is not endearing. Sorry. You got in trouble. They all just look so upset. I don't like this. Something bad's about to go down, I just know it. Come on, let's keep it civil here. It's not a big deal. People talk to their exes all the time. It's not something worth getting worked up over. Yeah, it is if the ex is Taylor and you know she's plotting something. Kira's lucky she didn't slit his throat. 
Everyone turns awkward, awkwardly quiet, as, I hope, they realize I'm right. I don't think you're right. Weren't you going to say something? He's upset. He doesn't trust her. I don't either. The conversation never returns, though. Kendall and Akira just turn to occasionally saying... Kendall and Akira just turn to occasionally saying something quietly to the other. Yet they're messing each other... Oh, whatever. Charlotte frequently looking like she might have something to say, but then never actually does. Ariana sits on her own, her attention altering between her computer, stealing glances at me. Quit it! I don't think she realizes I know it, so I pretend I don't. You make me uncomfortable, girl! Uh, question mark. To Mr. Rook, you... A hat. Butt hat, whatever. Oh, right. Yeah, say something, I will do what I can to fix the situation. I will go snatch her up by her hair and smack her around a little bit. Okay, no, I won't. But I will go say something. Maybe. Or I can just awkwardly, you know, be awkward around them. Embarrass them. Make them go their separate ways. That'll work. I'm good at that. I'm good at making people feel awkward. Everyone seems to be... Everyone seems to be more paying attention to their computers than to each other in general. It's the most awkward sight I've ever seen from an ordinarily very social group. So much stuff going on. Because they don't want you to hear, they don't want to hear us to hear what's going on. Um, let me figure out how to actually say it. Okay, I'm waiting. Not for lack of trying, I guess. I eat my lunch patiently, wondering if Akira is actually going to follow through on his plans to strike up conversation. Ha, yeah. We're waiting. Mercifully, he eventually does. Thank you. Hey, uh, sir, I was wondering, have you ever read a novel called Digital Sh Shinigami? It seems like it'd be up your alley. Seems cool. I'd probably read it. What's it about? No, I don't think so. Who's it by? Eriko Yamazaki. Don't know, don't know if you've heard of her. Nope. Huh. Any relationship? Is she some distant cousin of yours? Nah, my grandmother actually. But she was a really big sci-fi writer in like the eight, 1980s. And actually is kind of cool. Huh. Wow, I never knew that. That's really cool. For reals, bro. Also, it's a lot like some of the stuff we were reading earlier this year. You don't say. I'll have to keep my eye out for it, then. What's it about? Well, do you know what a Shinigami is normally? Yes, it's the go- it's a- Wait, Shinigami or Shikigami? I get them confused sometimes. Cause one of them is... A God of Death. A Grim Reaper. And the other one is, like, a paper doll or... A, like, person thing that you use to do your bidding. I can't think of the word to call it. A servant, yeah. So a Shinigami, I think, is the god of death. I don't believe so, no. What kind of... Forget you. Yes, honey, I know what it is. LOL, here's where Akira turns the biggest weeaboo ever. <laughs> I have absolutely no idea what she just said, but Akira gives her the dirtiest look. I would too, so I call me a weeaboo. WTF. Weeaboo? I'm actually Japanese. You you mad, Kindle? Haha, ha, LOL. Remind me again where you were born? Oh my god. STFU. We were having a conversation. <laughs> oh, these two. Anyway. Kindle just smirks to herself. To clearly having gotten in a very clever insult. If only I knew what the heck it was. I think I know. It is amazed just how completely incomprehensible conversations between Kendall and Akira turn out. Oh, I am I am so glad to hear it's not just me. Okay, I wanna He 
is it say where he's going? It says not interested, dude. You're supposed to say in a relationship. Uh, I love poem. I love poem. I remember that. That was funny. Okay. Um, it's his hometown in Sapporo, Sapporo, Japan. So. Look at all the conversations. Um, yeah. What was I doing? Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. The 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 insult is he's otaku, but he wasn't born in Japan. I guess that's what she's saying. Oh, it says his hometown is in Japan, but that doesn't mean he was born in Japan. Oh well. Oh man. What was I talking about? <laughs> I don't even remember. Oh yeah, you're about to ask something. He didn't got me. Alright. Oh, Anyways, there is sort of death here. I was right. I get she didn't got me and she could got me confused. Sometimes they just carry your soul to the afterlife. Or if you die with regrets. They might try to put them right before. They might try to put them right before they can move on. You know, stuff like that. They're not usually supposed to be that big on the haunting things, but it happens. Huh? Interesting. Oh, was that creepy girl following me? Is Shinigami? That'd be kind of cool. Huh? Interesting. So it's kind of like the Grim Reaper. Yes. I sort of. Except you're more likely to get a cute girl in a yukata than a skeleton in a robe. I knew it! Also, nobody actually believes in the Grim Reaper. That's not that true. Huh. Anyway, the book's about a sort of futuristic take on that. You know, modern death spirits now have to cope with technology. That sort of thing. It's totes rad. Alright, I'm just, he's bugging me just standing there. Just kind of... I don't trust her anymore. He keeps going on. But I get caught up on his original explanation. It sounds just, just a little bit too familiar. I'll have to look that up then. It sounds, uh, interesting. I think it is. I'd read it. I make the motions of continuing conversation with him. But my mind is completely elsewhere. Think about that creepy lady. That was following us. Mentioning Isabella and making me feel all sad. It's Tuesday. There's nothing more in life that I hate more than marking tests. And I hate taking them. Eh. Uh, yay. <laughs> Even when it's not that many at once. It's just an absolutely excruciating experience. Okay, well, let's see this. Take, let's take a break from that. So, everything's cool then? No. What's going on? Uh. Cry face. <laughs> Man, he's my boyfriend, and even still, I only get like every other word out of his mouth. So, they are dating! They are officially together. That is like, because at first they were just, you know, going out just to see if it's going to work. They're actually referring to each other's boyfriend. Yes! I ship it! I ship it so hard. Wish me luck. I'm going to try talking to Akira. Maybe I can get him to listen to reason. Listen to reason? Good luck. You'll need it. Don't encourage her! She's a bad lady! Okay, now I gotta read all this. You leave Akira alone. Don't start nothing with, with him. He's my baby. He's my boo. Don't touch him. I love him. Him and Kendall. Don't mess with them. They're my precious babies. And I will punch you in the throat. Okay, I'll fast read this. I was just talking to Nolan. As I'm sure you know. I hope you don't think I'm being too rude here. Since it's clearly none of my business. 
but there were some things about our conversation that jumped out at me. Oh, no. And I really want him to be happy. Oh, I hate her so much. It seemed like there were some things that he just wasn't quite sure how to bring up with you. I'm sorry, that's not too presumptuous of me, is it? I think that's how I said I can't say words. I know I haven't been the nicest to you. I'm sorry. It really is just jealousy, and I'd like to apologize for that. Mm, it's fake kindness. Can't trust a word out of her mouth. The literacy level isn't as bad as some people like to exaggerate it to be. But somehow, that doesn't help when you're evaluating answers like the lady's problems were that marriage was necessary and Cesario's cross-dressing identity mistaken. I don't even remember what we're studying. I was actually curious myself. What was the name of that book you were telling Mr. Rook about the other day? Digital Shinigami by Eriko Yamazaki. Okay. So everything's cool then? Yeah, everything's cool. What more is there to say? You want to see your Um, okay. It's fine, bro. I know you don't really have an in for me. I actually really did want to know what you two were talking about. I know things between you two were not so great. Can't trust her, bro. Thank you, Taylor. I'm pretty sure that's not a sentence. At least not in any language I speak. How the frick do you even begin to mark something like that? They're not all that bad. Well, most of them are, actually. Charlotte's answers are at least comprehensible, but that's just because she's writing what I said in class. Verbatim, in places. I end up bumping everyone's mark up so much that the class average is a low 80. If everyone's having trouble, then that means it's my fault. No need for them to suffer for that. <sighs> mm -hmm. I didn't know you're into those types of stories. There's a lot you don't know about me, Kendall. Hmm. Okay. Well, I was responsible for screwing things up between us. I wish I had let him go sooner instead of just clinging on to him for selfish purposes. It was a, a very me thing to do. Yet you're still trying to get him back. Oh, I hate her so much. We just talked about him now, mostly. It sounds like you two are doing really well. Even if he's obviously not interested in you sexually. At least he's finally, at least he finally has a friend again. I know he was feeling really desperate for one when he traded me for you. Oh, girl! Um, did he say that? He's a hard boy to coax things out of. Don't worry about it too much if he didn't want to tell you about that. You have to understand that he just tries very hard not to be vulnerable, except to the people he's the closest to. See, I told you it was fake kindness. Oh, I hate her. I want to strangle her, but that's... Ugh. Is it wrong for a teacher to strangle a student? It is? Okay, I won't do it then. Okay, I will be handing back your test at the end of the period. The class average was about 83, so... Good work, everyone. For the yet... Yeah, blah, blah, blah. For the last unit before the independent study and exam review, I'm going to give you something much easier than the last few have been. I know you're all exhausted. So now we're going to be taking a look at some short stories, specifically Edgar Allan Poe. It shouldn't take more than half an hour to read, to read the first. Edgar Allan Poe's creepy. Sleepy Kendall is sleepy. <laughs> Aw, don't go to sleep in my class. I'll throw a... I'll throw some chalk at you. I'm really worried about this whole Taylor X. Nolan thing. What do you think? I'd ask Kendall, but she just exaggerates everything. But, um, should I be worried? 
I don't know. I wish I could help you, but this is a little out of my out of my reel of understanding. I can't say I have any experience with either boys or straight girls. What do you think? Is there really cause for concern? I don't think there is, because I don't think Taylor's going to like going to lighten up and the way she phrases stuff kind of confuses you when she thinks she's right she's a user once you're all done there's a couple questions that I'll put up on the board to answer but they're all very straightforward this isn't going to be strenuous thank goodness I let them go to reading everything sucks Get to know. Taylor, complicated things with cute OTP. Why is she gotta try to blow holes in my ship? I didn't really have any intention of presenting this as being easy, but given the abysmal test scores, I think I need to restrain myself. They're clearly all, they're clearly all struggling. As I copy out the easier questions I prepared last night, that's all I can think about. Maybe this just isn't my week at all. Maybe it's just not their week. The class seems as stressed as I am. Well, I never did expect this to be an easy job. Crappy. Everything is crappy. What's wrong, bro? I'll tell you what's wrong. It's stinking Taylor. Prep period. Somehow, when my prep period, ar prep period arrives, I find myself forced into the classroom again. I have got to talk to that teacher who keeps using the office for frivolous things. What well, kind of frivolous things? Eh? Okay. With absolutely nothing to do. At least this time, I don't feel bad about spending the entire time checking up on my students' Omni Connect pages. It's not like I have anything better to do. Although, I certainly wonder about the classes they're in right now. I'm pretty sure they should have better things to do. Um, just have to bring myself to do something hard. <sighs> Do not break up with Nolan. He's so good together. He seems really happy. At least I'm not the only one whose class they chat through. Somehow, it makes me feel at least a little bit better knowing that. But before I continue, I really should check those messages. The indicator's blinking one. This is something I really wanted to say in person, but... Well, couldn't. Sorry, you deserve better. I've been holding on to you selfishly. I like you so much, but I didn't realize that part of love... That part of love means letting that person do what makes them truly happy. But you're straight. Mm. This can't work. I've been a crappy person for thinking it could and getting in the way of you and Taylor just for my own selfish whims. No! He doesn't like Taylor anymore! I'm sorry. Really sorry. You should go back with her. Like you obviously want to. I fricked up. I fricked up, bro. Sorry. At least forgive me. I just want you to be with the one who makes you happy. But you make him happy. Have get to see it. When he was with Taylor, I actually didn't get to see them when they were together. But this is all Taylor's fault. Here we go. I should be caught up enough now. Only a little bit though. There's not really much to feel great about. What the heck's going on here? Taylor's blowing holes in my ship! I walk to school as quiet as always. I'm really grateful that I'm not I'm not in the middle of a terribly busy neighborhood. I can just take quiet I can just take quiet side streets all the way home. Yeah, and if someone brutally murders you, no one will know! <laughs> Cause there's no one around. myself stupid desk I arrive as early as I normally should no surprise the classroom is empty 
I get to cleaning up my desk and getting my notes ready for class. First, I want to check out what's going on. WTF? Did Terry put you up to this? What's going on? Of course I like you. Where is this coming from? Never mind. I can see you're ignoring Ami. I'm coming over. Oh no. WTF? Stay away from my boyfriend, you crazy witch. Oh, you tell her. Oh, no one's getting feisty. Things are getting good. Fight, fight, fight. I want to see him. No, that'd be mean. Don't hit her. Just scare her. You know, punch the wall. Back up to the wall and punch the wall. Just scare her. What's wrong with Akira? He seems absolutely awful. But I don't know what's up. And he won't say. Is he okay? No idea. He won't tell me either. I hope so, sis. I hope so. Okay, you shouldn't call your girlfriend sis. <laughs> you shouldn't call your boyfriend bro. It's really awkward. Especially if you're in public. Because people would be like... And then, like, say, bro, sis, calm down, or whatever. And, like, then you kiss or something, and people are going to be like, oh, kissing his brother, sister, oh my god. I'm sorry, I'm reading too much into that. It's just not like him. It's not. I'm worried about him. I've been there for only a few minutes when there's a knock on the door. Strange. It's open. That never happens. I turn to look as an unfamiliar woman walks in. Uh, excuse me, are you Mr. Rook? The office told me I could find you here. Find him here. That's me, John. But you have me at a disadvantage. What? Her temper seems short. Uh, never mind. How can I help you? I'm Ichigo Yamazaki. Ooh. I understand that you're my son's homeroom teacher. Oh no! Oh, so you're Akira's mother? Yes, that's right. I'm scared. Maybe you can explain something to me then. Does this school not have a strict policy about bullying? Taylor! Bullying my Akira. Wait, which mom are you? Are you the mom that laughed when he came out? I'm assuming it's the other one because she seems like she's not. She might have been this one. Oh well. Uh, yeah, of course. Then maybe you can explain why my son immediately locked himself into his room when he got home last night. And maybe you can explain why I had to deal with his poor boyfriend knocking at our door in tears. No! I didn't do it. Taylor, do you just not care about bullying when it's gay students? Is that it, Mr. Rook? Because I am certainly not paying tuition for teachers to be homophobic. Whoa! No, no. Please calm down. Calm down, lady. Calm down. She's about to accuse me of being homophobic. And I know that Akira broke up with no one. But what does that have to do with me? I had no idea. Actually, we did. For what it's worth, I thought Akira and Noah's relationship was extremely healthy. And it occurred... And encouraged it. I did! Over here cheering for him. But I'm not responsible for them breaking up. It's hard for both. But that's just part of being a teenager. It's out of my control. Do you know why they broke up, Mr. Rook? Yes. No. Uh, this is actually the first time I've heard of it. Oh my god! We're sitting here reading all their conversations. We know what's going on, yet you don't know what's going on. Ugh. Whatever. I can think of at least one reason why, but I can't admit to that. She never said anything to him in front of me. He never told me about her messages. As far as I should know, it didn't happen. Okay, he mentioned it. Whew. Then maybe you should be paying better attention. Akira showed me a series of harassing message messages that this girl Taylor had sent. Completely unacceptable. And yesterday, she cornered him at lunch to tell him that, quote, uh, like him could never make Nolan happy, unquote. I want to I wanna slap her. Not you, not you, not you, lady. You're nice. I, I love you. You have pretty hair. 
but Taylor <laughs> and that he was being selfish for dating a straight boy. Can you imagine how hurtful that must have been? This is completely unacceptable. What are you going to do about this? I'm going to go find Taylor and I'm going to smack her in the mouth. That hurts. I've been smacked in the mouth before. It really hurts. Popper one. Or I can go tell her parents because as a teacher I can't abuse a student. That would be wrong. I'll probably go to jail for child abuse. How about I not do that? Okay. She said, what? Okay. That is most definitely grounds for dealing with her. I'm as shocked as she seems to be. That's absolutely appalling. I never thought Taylor would stoop that low. That's far, far worse than I imagined. At least she was subtle in her messages. But that? That's appalling. I can't believe she... Ooh, excuse me. Miss Yamazaki, you have my utmost... Excuse me. Ooh. Assurances. She's not going to go without reprimand. It's not acceptable. Plus, Mac. I'm too quick to go to the... I'm mean. I promise you, ma'am. I will straighten her out. We do have a strict anti-bullying policy, and I'm personally shocked and offended by her actions. And that's the truth. Mm-hmm. I should hope so. I just want to make it perfectly clear. I don't want to be antagonistic. I don't want to be antagonistic. I think that's the word. Akira likes you and says you're a good teacher. <gasps> Thank you, Kira. I'm doing my best. He's one of my favorite students. Man, he's he's a good student. Even though he's always flirting on the internet, but he's a good student. I love him. I love his clothing choices, too. <laughs> okay, let's go on. But if I ever hear about her doing this to either my boy or Nolan again, shut up. Ow. Then she'll be expelled. I'll see to it personally. It's not okay. That's the bottom line, Miss Yamazaki. Okay, that's good. I'm glad to hear it. I have to get to work now, but I'll be keeping up. You seem decent enough. I'm sorry we had to meet under these circumstances. I am too. Me too. She said. She turns to leave. I. let her go stop her with one more question what question could it be but I kind of want to know wait Miss Yamazaki she turns back to face me yes Mr. Rook how are they doing is Akira doing better I'm glad you asked oh I did a good choice I had no idea what he was going to ask whoo whoo crisis averted if I just let her go, she would have thought I didn't really care, probably. <sighs> I'm glad you asked. I already read that. They're back together, if that's what you mean. I'm glad. Akira was feeling vulnerable, but Nolan, the sweetheart, stayed over all night to make sure he was okay. I think he's doing a lot better now. Nolan was furious, though. He was holding in a lot when he heard that what Taylor had said, for Akira's sake. He was trying to be brave but I worry about him. That's rough. He always seems sensitive about the subject, too. Oh, so you understand. Well, I think he'll be fine. They're a good influence on each other. Just please, deal with Taylor before Nolan makes a rash, de rash decision. I'm about to object to say that sounds awful threatening. Sound awful threatening. But, to be honest, if I had someone do that to someone I loved, I would probably do something stupid too. I'm not going to hold it against either, so long as he doesn't act on it. I will. Thanks. Goodbye now. Bye. Tough words from me talking about having her expelled. I have no idea what that process is like, but tuition here isn't exactly cheap. It would probably be very difficult. Uh, what W2F did she do? 
Oh, don't wait, pinball in on me. Pinball my shooter. Or stab her or something. Not that Taylor knows that. It's it's a good threat, anyway. I really hope it won't come to testing it. I go back to sit at my desk, trying to get my thoughts back in order. I'm going to have to deal with Taylor later, of course. But I still do have a class to teach today. Nothing. It wasn't nothing! She tried to get back at me by harassing Akira. WTF. It was freaking horrible. See, I told you not to kindle. She's gonna hurt. She's gonna kill the dog. Got a dead, dead girl now. Dead girl walking. I start to focus on that, reviewing my notes just to be sure, as the class slowly comes in. Uh. Oh my God! It was Taylor. Look at her wall. Okay. Uh. Oh. Honey, I'm cute. Get to know me first. Oh. Usually, if a girl puts that in their profile. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Okay. Charlotte! A friendly face. There's so much going on. I need a hug. Wait, I shouldn't be hugging students. That didn't end well good. Well, that didn't end well for me last time. Okay. Hi, Mr. Rook. Hi. She goes to sit down without saying another word. I guess she could probably probably tell that I'm stressed. I could tell that I'm stressed. Oh my god. Do you know what she actually did? I know Taylor can be bad, but I thought she was above abusing Akira just to get back with her boyfriend. With his boyfriend. <coughs> I'm, I've been saying it from the beginning. Watch out for her. It's a trap. But does anyone listen to me? No. Eventually, the rest of the class starts to file in. Although, I'm really only interested in a certain pair who come in at the same time. Yay! Oh, no one looks good. Neither one of them are in their school uniform. <laughs> Shame on you two. But I'm gonna let it slide. Y'all got drama going on. Wait. Nolan? Akira? Hi, sir. What's up? Oh, I'm sorry about the uniform, but it's... Relax. Nobody cares about the dress code. That's not what I was going to say. I'm glad he addressed it. <laughs> oh. I heard about what happened. I'm going to have some very strong words with her. So, Nolan, I know you're probably still angry, but let me handle it, okay? Fine. You're going to deal with that witch? Yes. I have a long talk with her. We're going to have words. I can tell he's holding a lot of stronger words than that. He's probably more than a little embarrassed. He wants to be the strong man, protecting his boyfriend. I imagine. But it is better if I deal with it. Easy. I'll talk to her. But you have to be calm. And Akira, next time there's something wrong, tell me right away, okay? Let me handle it, baby. It's okay. Okay, okay, sir. Thank you. You're, you're a bro. I don't know why I'm making so so depressed. You're welcome. I just wish you'd tell me. I would have dealt- I just wish you'd have told me. I would have dealt with it sooner. I'm so sorry you had to deal with that. Thank you, sir. I'm just being so depressed. I want to hug him. I sit back down at the desk, watching Nolan comfort and cure before they take the seats. I've never seen either like that before. I can tell, beneath the calmness, Nolan's definitely angry. I can't imagine how he must be feeling. This must be the most gosh darned emasculating experience possible, and I definitely feel bad for him. Hard to feel like a man when you have to get your boyfriend's mother to get your teacher to deal with your problems. There's no shame there, 
but I bet he thinks there is. It's gotta be painful. Finally, the entire class arrives, and I get ready to start. LOL, guess not. She's just a freaking waste of air. Now that's really me. I know she's doing a lot of bad things, but she be nice on the on the. I will say rebound, but I don't think that's the right word. Be nice, because mean and mean just makes more mean. If somebody's gonna get hurt so bad, they're gonna. We don't want to repeat of Isabella, please. I'm still very upset about that. How can someone be so witchy? I know some people that are, and it's like, how can they be like that? But they just are. Some people just are. Before I begin, Taylor, loves Akira no matter what some say. Yeah! The ship is sailing again! Quit talking to Taylor! Is what no one's saying, is what no one's saying true? That's really completely over the line. I know you don't like Akira, but that's no excuse to be a witch. Didn't you consider no one's feelings? For real. Now Ariana's on her case. Yes! Yes, Mr. Rook? In my office, right after your last class. Is that understood? Okay. Yeah, you're in trouble now, Missy. Heart. Messing my boy. Good. Now, on to the story you were all supposed to read last night. Nobody read it, I bet. That's it for the day. Well, as far as classes go, anyway. I'm still not sure how I'm going to deal with Taylor yet. But I'm definitely going to make it clear that's not make it clear that's not to try this sort of I'm definitely going to make it clear that's not to try this sort of bullcrap again. That doesn't eh it's chemically incorrect. My brain. Taylor's probably already on her way to my office, but I'm gonna check some stuff first. She could sit and wait. Excuse me. Um, love the kid no matter what some say. I think it's a song. No, it's not. It's something else to think about. I mean, but heart. That's really sweet. I'm sorry about Taylor. She was completely over the line. She was. I'm really disappointed. Ooh. WTF, crazy witch. Basically. Okay, it's the same one. Warning. Do not let your boyfriends near Taylor Gibson. She's a horrible witch and will emotionally abuse them. I don't like where this is going. Um, could you ease up on Taylor a bit, please? I hate her more than anyone, but I don't really need a dozen posts on her wall talking about what a helpless victim I am. Okay, bro? Sorry, you're right. I'll stop. I guess that's not helping. I'm just so sorry. You really didn't deserve that. What she did was just unbelievable. Hug. Yeah, I want to hug and do hugs for me, too. If there's anything that I can do that would be helpful, please let me know. Hugs. Trust me, bro. I will. Right now, I just want to be with my boyfriend. K. 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 Like, yeah, K. K. Yeah. I like the Bible with that. I know she did a really bad thing, and she's being the meanest person in the world right now. But everybody going at her, just ripping into her like that, it's not good. So just ease up a little bit. But before I go, I should take a break to see if there are any new 12 channel posts. I don't want to. I really don't. I guess I got to. Do the same thing. So I don't. Okay, anonymous was it? Any gold? Hey, did you hear? Did you hear? Season two of Any Code confirmed. I'm um, honestly not really looking forward to that. It's going to star freaking Kimi. Pretty sure the world doesn't need Maho Shoujo magical heartbreaker jerk Kimi Chan. Bro, I would watch the heck out of that. Okay, so would I actually. <laughs>
Um, but it's totes not going to actually be like that. It's going to be some alternate continu continuity or something. Con yeah. So it doesn't have to bother try redeeming Kenny at all. I call it bull crap. Well, how could you possibly redeem Kimi after that big betrayal? It's a great, interesting character, but you kind of can't forgive her for that. Ooh, I kind of want to know what's going on. No, no, lol. Okay, for serious though, there has got to be a way. There's always a way. I don't agree. So people can just go, I don't know what that means, forever. Kimi is definitely freaking one of them. What? For reals, bro. I mean, it would totally take a whole series to make up for that. You can't just have it as an afterthought. But it could be all about her realizing what a horrible person she was and trying to overcome that. That'd be a story I want to see. Uh, this is kind of intermingling with intertwining with what's going on with Taylor. Everybody can be redeemed at one point, no matter what they've done. There's like nothing you could do that sh can like, as long as you're truly sorry for what you've done and you try to make up for it, there's always hope. Unless you get to the point where there is no hope. There is eventually a point like, if you mess up, you've done something bad, but if you say you're sorry and people give you a second chance, and you do good, it's okay, but if you keep messing up, keep going back and doing that again, that's when, no, it's going to keep doing it again and again and again, and I give up on you. It's getting deep, yo. Four, four channel, wow, you're getting real deep here. Please don't. Also, it's not like it would be inconsistent. That's how it goes in real life. You act like a horrible witch to everyone and you just have to make up for it and keep going. You don't get a stupid freaking guidance story where everything's great and perfect and awesome again. You learn to grow a freaking bear. <laughs> yeah, it's true. I think I've seen fan art of that. <laughs> uh. What? Kimmy growing a pear. It's pretty hot, bro. Ew. <laughs> Lol. Lots of logs. Where? <laughs> There's always someone asking where. Okay, we're done with that. Well, that's enough dawdling from me. Time to go. Do -do -do -do, walking down the hall to my office. Yo, what's up, Taylor? Hi, Mr. Rook. I like your little flower. Hello. Why don't you have a seat? She sits down, trembling. I'm not actually going to hit you. It's okay. Stop trembling. What's this about? I think you know, Taylor. Don't insult my intelligence. You know exactly what this is about. Oh, is this about Akira? What did he tell you? He seemed really upset at me for some reason. Like, he was blaming me for... Oh, heck no you don't. I don't even want to hear what ridiculous story she's going to tell. I preempt her, deciding preempt her, deciding on my approach. How should I handle this? I want to go angry because I am really angry at her, but I'm going to go gentle. There's something wrong here, clearly. I don't know what her problem is, but I should be calm. Hey, calm down. I'm the mature one here. She's just a freaked. She's just a freaked up. 17 year old girl she's got problems come on just admit it you were a jerk to him you were a jerk to him for what exactly she stops and sighs seeming to realize she can't argue her way out I want to know him back is that really so wrong Mr. Rook I like him I miss him that's a funny way of showing you like someone hurting the boy they love well it's not like anything I said was wrong. It'll never work between them. No one is in a... <clears throat> Quit using that word. That's very mean. I know that. He knows that. But everyone pretends they're this amazing, perfect couple anyway. 
Because they like each other. Have you considered the possibility that you're wrong? Or that it doesn't matter anyway? I'm not wrong. He's just dating Akira to get back at me. It's not like he's actually going to ant him. It's just spite. I don't think it is, honey. I went. Is she really so self-centered that she believes that? When they broke up, he was reduced to tears. He was devastated. Do you really think that's spite? Well, of course he cried. That ant little boy isn't exactly... Nolan was reduced to tears, not Akira. So that's a funny way of showing spite, wouldn't you say? Really? Yeah. Really. She goes quiet for a long time. A very long time. Well, fine. What do I care? It's all about Akira's feelings, or no one's feelings. You jump right away to defend the freaking men. But you sure don't care about my feelings, do you? Isn't that the wrong way around? Honey, honey, honey. Shh. No, of course. Nobody cares about my feelings. Nobody even thinks about how I feel. LL Taylor, stop being a witch. I'm not allowed to be upset. Nobody ever rushes to defend me. Nobody ever asks me if I'm okay. I'm popular. I'm friends with everyone. I'm pretty. I go to parties. My life must be great. ML. FML. Freak my freaking life. I have one friend. I wear makeup because people made fun of me when I didn't. I feel bad for it now. Stop it. Stop making me feel bad for you. I go to parties because all I want is to find one boy, one freaking boy, who would actually be there for me when things suck. My life sucks. Oh yes, I'm popular. Everyone always talks about me. What a crazy witch. But at least they're saying it all the time, right? She stops to compose herself, and I don't say anything while she does. What can you possibly say to that? So, go ahead, sir. Me me out. Tell me how I'm the worst person. I just hurt others. And you don't care about my feelings. Fine. What's one more? She waits, expectantly. How can I answer that? Gentle approach. So how does treating Akira like crap help you with that? I guess that wasn't really gentle, after all. I don't care. Well, I might have had a chance of getting Nolan back. That would have helped. That would have helped a lot. You'd break both Akira's heart and the heart of the boy you're trying to get back. Just for the chance of something impossible happening. Of course. What do I have to lose? And it's not like either of those two care about how I feel. Why shouldn't why shouldn't I be the same? I'm speechless. Just utterly speechless. I mean, I had to say something. But what is there even to say besides the obvious? Go on, say it. Everyone says it. Everyone always says it, without fail. That's the most self-centered thing I've ever heard in my life. The world doesn't revolve around you, Taylor. And there we go. Of course, it's self-centered. How can I worry about other people when I can't get my own life right? I mean, how is that even possible? And, are you retarded, Mr. Okay, I am not retarded. Of course the world revol revolves around me. What else could it possibly revol revolve around? Everyone says that, and WTF. Your world revolves around you. Akira's freaking world revolves around freaking Akira. And my world revolves around me. It's the dumbest thing you could say. And yet everyone does. Everyone criticizes me for it. Oh, Taylor, don't be so self-centered. As if it's selfish to care about your own feelings. Well, of course I care about my own feelings. If I don't, who will? She stops ranting for long enough to catch her breath. Whew, that was a lot. Can you tell me? Who else will care about will care about my feelings? Tell me, Mr. Rook, who else? Who else is going to care? I don't have an answer for her question. How could I possibly answer something like that? That's what I thought. So maybe it's worth being self-centered. At least one person in this world, this world that revolves around me, should care. I mean, it's... 
and finally she can't hold herself back anymore and she starts sobbing. A hand won oh a had wandered hand. I had wondered if this wasn't some bizarre act, but now she's crying. Actually crying. There's no doubt those are real tears. She keeps wiping her face, trying to calm herself down, but completely unable to. I just I I I sigh. It's the most pitiful sight I've ever seen. What? She takes a deep breath. What should I do? Tell me what? What do you think I should do then? How should I change? What should I do differently? What will make everything better and people not always telling me I'm terrible? What should I do? I have to say something to her. I just desperately want to walk out. Let this be someone else's problem. Give up on dealing with this crazy teenager, but... I can't. I know I can't. But how do you respond to that? What do you say? I can't give her any advice that'll suddenly make things perfect. It doesn't exist. Maybe that's, maybe that's what I should say. It's about all I can. Nothing will make everything better. Nothing will make everything perfect. I can't just give you a single piece of sage advice that makes everything better. I don't know how to get through to you. You just don't seem to get it. All I can say is, in order for people to be nice to you, you have to show you care first. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. The golden rule, honey. That's it? That's your advice? Hello, I'm Mr. Rook. LOL, 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 A lot of LOLs. She starts laughing nervously, or maybe crying. It's impossible to tell. You think I haven't tried? I've tried everything. With no one. You have no idea how many times I tried to show that I care. I always apologized. I always admitted I was wrong. I always listened to what he told me. I always, I always was there. I kept my mouth shut when he wanted me to, and kept it open when he wanted to. I begged to know what I, what I could do to make things work again. I, I care, Mr. Rook. I freaking well care. I showed it in every way possible. It wasn't enough. It's never enough. Not with him. Not with anyone. She wipes her tears again, and I'm at a loss. I have to break through to her somehow. It has to be possible. What did, but did you treat him how he wanted to be treated? Of course I did. I mean, did you actually treat him how he wanted to? That doesn't mean just apologizing or going down on him or nodding along or begging for a way to prove yourself. It means caring. And it sounds like what he really wanted from you was to just leave him alone. There's a pause. That's what everyone wants from me. It's always the same. I should just leave everyone alone. Everyone always. Do I not deserve friends? I... I can't. I can't do it. I don't know what to say to you, Taylor. I'm sorry. I just can't get through to you. I don't know what to tell you. I'm sorry your life sucks. And I'm even more sorry you can't seem to understand why. I don't think I can help you. All I can say is, it's my job to make sure everyone in the class has a comfortable learning environment, and you're getting in the way of that. I can't tell you how to change your life. All I can tell you is that if you ever interfere with that again, I'm going to have to remove you from my class. I don't want to do that, so please, just promise me you'll stop abusing your classmates. Can you do that? She gives a long, drawn-out sigh. Of course you can't. Nobody can. F.M.L. She wipes her face again. But okay, fine. I promise. I. It's not like anything else ever works out for me. What's one more thing? Is that all? Can I go home now? That's all. You can go now. She leaves without a single other word. I don't know what to think. I don't know what to make of it. I don't get her. I don't get what the frick is wrong with her. And I don't know how to help. Would anyone? Was there a better approach that I just didn't think of at all? Or is it just impossible for her? I don't know which answer would be more depressing. Whew. 
Oh, Taylor. You tired me out, girl. I've been lying in bed for the past hour. I just can't get to sleep. Every time I start to drift off, all I can think about was how awful things went today. Just absolutely awful for everyone. And I'm going to check this. Mm, WTF, I just heard the whole story. I thought you were just going to talk to him, not be the world's biggest jerk. It was way too cruel, Taylor. I hope you realize that. Is that it? I think I read that already. Hmm. But before I continue, I really should check those messages. The indicators blinking to indicate new messages for me. I heard it, but I don't see it. Um, is it mail? None, I say. Tell me, John Rook. She wants to know. Why? Oh, are you that creepy girl that followed me home? Go away. Go away. Shoot. Why, John? Why? You could have saved her. You could have stopped her. I tried! They didn't give me the option! What was I supposed to do? Huh? I tried! I really did! Like... I talked to her and I went looking for her and like and the stupid people in charge of the school didn't have any contact information for her which is really stupid there we go I should be caught up enough now uh, wait I don't need that one lady I tried or worse, I get woken up by these creepy, creepy messages. Next lunch. Wow, this is a long chapter. So, I'm going to leave this right here. I didn't finish the chapter. But, oh well. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. I really appreciate it. Subscribe for more videos as they come. And until next time, bye bye.